Hello everybody, this is your old friend RJ City and today I will be unboxing a Topps Nicktoon, oh lord, where is it? Nicktoon uh, trading cards. Here they are here. I got them for $5, which seems obscenely expensive. I got them, I think, a couple years ago and I've already opened them and uh, I ate the gum inside. Right? Was there gum? No, there is no gum. I thought there was gum. There should have been gum. This is, But this is like 90s. Is there a year on this? Is a re-release kind of thing? Give me a year. 1993. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not as old. These are like <laughs> the newer generation of cards that I've opened. You see it. You know, all your favorites are there. It's a fun time. Nevertheless, let's dive in. One sticker, eight tattoos. Jesus, a real parlor here. Four cards and one activity card. So let's give these a shot. First card here. Oh, is this a sticker? This is a Phil and, and Lil sticker. I have a lot of questions about them. It was not a lot that was answered. The names are Phil and Lil Deville, which I totally forgot, aged 15 months, and they really stuck there. Person they admire the most, Phil admires Lil, and Lil admires Phil. Favorite sports team, Minnesota Twins. You you understanding what's happening here? Favorite breakfast cereal, Phil likes Reptar, and Lil likes Dummy Bear Flakes. You forget about the Dummy Bears. Everyone's Reptar, and of course, I'm a big fan of Oodles the Talking Poodle, likes complimenting each other, uh, completing each other's sentences, blaming each other for stuff, and they dislike constantly getting mistaken for one another. Their ambition is to be able to dress differently when we grow up. The, the mother really, really forced them there. She was very domineering, at least fashion-wise. And this one is just a Rugrats one in Angelica's clutches, it says. And Angelica is just grabbing the children, very mean, she felt like she was like 40 years old. What is all this shit? Spills that reveal your future. Oh, I guess you, they spilled stuff and then you can read their future. Okay. Tommy will grow up to be a world famous escape artist and will also write a series of Reptar coffee table books. This was before Reptar, uh, Rugrats in Paris. And this was before Susie came along, I believe. So there was a lot of, it's very juvenile here. They didn't have, Angelica said, uh, we'll open a chain of Cynthia doll stores around the world and we'll become a wealthy and much admired celebrity. Become. They made two words there. Very interesting. Phil and Lil will one day work for the CIA and will fool and confound enemy agents by cleverly exchanging clothes. Chucky will discover a cure for being afraid and will go on to become a world-renowned bungee jumper well that's adorable there they you know they need to see the back rugrats you fucking you get it I, i'm not a fan of the reboots there was not it was it was quintessential to them that they are babies and remain babies here's a here's another card here dog food discovery this is really really a rugrats heavy it says nicktoons on the front and this is so far all rugrats what to eat to turn your tongue Red or green, you eat pistachios. Nah, fucking pistachios not going to turn your tongue red or green. Reptar bars will turn your tongue green. Grape juice turns it purple. Licorice turns your tongue black. None of that is correct. Maybe grape juice and reptar bars. I had a reptar bar. They did a, just like a cheap version of it, though. But I, I liked the spirit of it. I think it's the important thing. Is this more Rugrats? All right. Send out the clowns. Very clever. And this, I'm sure, is a source of, uh, I think, about Bozo here. And I hope David Arquette is doing okay. Send out the clowns. And, of course, Yeezy there is is terrified. Halloween costumes. Tommy, this is so poorly written. Sorry. Am I crazy? It's it's black on dark blue. And you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. They're bookends. Phil and Lil are bookends. Tommy is an egg. And uh, Chucky is a dummy bear. And Spike is a dog in a sheep costume, and Angelica is an angel. So, I don't know, what the fuck do you want from me? Ah, finally! Some non-Rugrats cards. Life inside Stimpy's mouth. And this is always the great... The Ren and Stimpy used to do those gross close-ups, and they would horrify everyone. And you'd think, this isn't for children. Chef Stimpy presents Powdered Toast. Just pop half a dozen live mollusks. 
clams, periwinkles, or mussels into a blender. Add one cup of whipped cream, garlic, and black olives to taste and blend on sludge for 15 minutes. It's always about being gross. Now that you're really hungry, throw it away and call Powdered Toastman for a delicious breakfast of powdered toast. He's toasterific. Well, isn't that adorable and disgusting in an on-brand type of way? Next one here, Pen Pals. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, let's see what this is. Make, make Ren and Stimpy your pen pals. Remove... Beloved cartoon character from card by carefully pushing along the perforation. Slide pen or pencil through two slots on the card. Pen or, pen or pencil should be slid under the slots so that the hands on the card appear to be hanging on the pen. Write a note to your teacher explaining that you didn't finish your homework because you were too busy pulling out a trendy cartoon character cut out on your writing implement. So I have a pen here, so let us... Let us get, let us perforate. I mean, they are perforated. Let's activate the perforation. There we go. Uh, this is actually working well for 1993. Really destroying the resale value. So there they are, right? It's like this. And the perforations are thus. And I will now stick a pen. Or maybe something thinner. I have a pencil here. I have a pencil, but it's one of these shit, hip, hip ones. You know, the new, the wave of the future pencil. So let's make it like they're holding on here. And then that's it. And he holds on to the pen. And now it's really annoying when you're right. Because my hands are too big for this. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, he's hanging on to the pen. And we have so much fun in the class. Just, just writing. That made my school days just fly by. To have to have Stimpy on the pen. Okay. Oh, and here are the tattoos. Finally, here are the tattoos. Oh my God! Look at this. This this is uh, these are Doug tattoos, and this is the uh, the neighbor. There's the dog. This is pork shop. This Jug. He's in the Scouts. Patty mayonnaise, of course. And then what's here? This is Roger has turned into a Godzilla Reptar type character. Maybe a little cross-branding. And there's, uh, is that Mr. Uh, Lamar Bone? What happened to Lamar? Is he hip all of a sudden? And what does this say? I can't see what this says because this is, uh, Toft? Tooth? Because it's backwards because it's a tattoo. Well, let's take the neighbor here. What are the instructions? Moisten skin slightly. Apply tattoo face down. Pat gently. And then peel off carefully. All right, let's 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 do this guy here. Mr. Uh, oh, oh, shit, I can't remember his name. Why don't you put your names on here? Okay. All right. All right. A wacky neighbor. We'll do it. We'll do it right here. Moistened skin. I do have water this time. Last time I had, a, uh, I think, a Scott Steiner or Rick Steiner tattoo, and it didn't really take. I'm going to put it. Face down here. Okay, maybe maybe let's put a little let's put a little water on the back to make sure it stays. It's not going so well. It's kind of coming off a little. Let's just let a little more water. They said moisten, and now I'm I'm dampening. Quite frank, I don't want to get into it, but we've left moistening territory. Supposed to pat gently. I'm using the back of my hand. Okay, let's just give it a minute. What is that guy's name? I'm, now I'm gonna look up his name. Uh, Doug. Doug, neighbor. Let's see if we can just get his name here. Mr. Dink, Bud, Dink. Let's read the Wikipedia entry on advertising slogan writer for Bluffco Industries. Newspaper headline writer, leader of the Bluff Scouts. Okay, this makes a lot more sense. Now I have an ad. Okay, here we go. Next to a neighbor uh, and confidant of sorts. Middle-aged man who's a friend to Doug, often talking with him about any subject. Bud, or Mr. Dink, as he's better known, enjoys investing in expensive new inventions and gadgets. 
Yeah, Bud is married to his long-suffering wife, Tippingdale Dink, most commonly referred to as Tippy. The two met in high school. They went to senior prom together, which resulted in an ER trip for Tippy. Rough times. He's a real party animal. He occasionally serves as the leader of the Bluff Scouts in a few episodes. As well, he has a noticeable lisp. All right, let's give it a shot. Um, okay. All right. So we got, got from this here, and it turned into this here. <clears throat> well, that was me unboxing the pack of Nicktoon trading cards, heavy on the Rugrats, incredibly light on the tattoos.